I try and guide and lead everything I do with love and openness and patience mm -hmm. um, for all types of people and perspectives. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like if I do that, whether or not I have a platform, um, it kind of gives people permission to do the same in their own life in their own way. Mm -hmm. So I guess living it, trying to be the change I want mm -hmm. to see. In the world. Yeah. Did you come up with that? I actually <laughs> just thought of that. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How's it going? It's going really good. How are you? I'm good. You know what's really fun? What? This is our first time meeting. I know. <laughs> I was thinking that same thought. And I love it. It's great. Yeah, it's a little unprecedented, but it's also awesome. And it well, can be a good story to tell. I love when people say yes to ridiculous things, mm -hmm. um, which is my first question. Why did you say yes to this? Well, actually, initially, um, I ran into your page on the Instagram. And I just love what it was all about. Um, men who take baths. That's the handle, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think I reached out initially. I said, I'd like to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. um, uh, anything that kind of highlights a bit of an open-minded perspective surrounding this kind of crazy, overly masculine world we're living in, I think it's probably worth doing, mm -hmm. even if I'm in a tub surrounded by strangers completely naked. Especially <laughs> yeah, when. Especially. <laughs> especially when. Exactly. So yeah, it felt right. And I'm honestly, this is kind of the best bath I think I've had in years. So it's a win-win. What in your life has had a profound impact on who you are mm. today? Um, I would honestly just right off the bat, like psychedelics, <laughs> um, really kind of broke down the narrative and the perspective I had built around myself. Cause when you like walk through this planet, you're very conscious of how you're perceived or how you want to be perceived. At least most people are, mm -hmm. I would assume. And just getting in tune with, I want to say psychedelics, specifically mushrooms, but I've dabbled, dabbled in a couple other psychedelics, like, you know, dimethyltryptamine, LSD, which are all great. but. I didn't just like get together with some frat boys, eat acid and go look at boobs. Like I went into the trips with intention. Like I have some childhood trauma I want to face um, that I don't really ever face on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes when you get into a deep psychedelic trip, you have no choice but to face all of yourself. Even the things that you shove under the rug on a day-to-day -day basis. And recently I went on a trip with a shaman. I went blindfolded and I drank psilocybin in liquid form. and laid down for about six hours, which felt like a lifetime, <laughs> and uh, chased myself through my mind. And it was, I don't really have a way to articulate the effect it had on my day-to-day -day routines, but it was pretty profound. So for me, they were a tool mm. um, rather than just something to experiment with. Yeah. I always found them to be fascinating. What is it about psychedelics that you think, I, you touched on it briefly, but I wanna go a little deeper. Yeah. Like, what do you think it is with, about psychedelics that allowed you to work through some blockades that you had within yourself? There's something about like the psychedelic membrane that forces you to face you just plainly. I'm not sure what it is, and specifically with mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Um, I don't, I'm not here saying like, do psychedelics, it'll be great for you. Like everyone has their own journey. And a lot of people have certain bad trips because they weren't ready for the trip. I'm not someone who shoves things under the rug, but I am human. So my brain naturally hides traumatizing experience as time passes. It's just like, you don't want to think about this. Why do we do, you know? And it's like, you kind of swing through the vines of your brain when you're on a deep trip. The childhood traumas, the first breakup, the, your first kiss, like all, like all the good and the bad, they're just all kind of happening. And having to face those things was just really, really profoundly effective, positively in my life. And then, I mean, I think for anybody that has done psychedelics, they understand or at least have an idea of the importance of an integration period oh after. Can you, can you talk a little yeah. bit about that? Because when you go into a trip, it's really good to go in with an intention, whether it be to say face something you haven't thought about in years or anything along those lines. But the integration period is equally as important because like a lot of people will go to Peru with the idea of doing ayahuasca and like it's going to change their life. So they go have this profound experience and then they come back to their lives and go back to the same routine, same habits, same day to day things that got them stressed out and wanted to escape in the first place. The integration period is a time when you can reflect on your trip, what you learn, the parts of yourself that you want to keep and grow and the parts of yourself that you want to shed and leave behind. 
And the integration period offers that kind of clarity to how you want to take your next steps in your life and how you want to guide those steps. Like, are they going to be guided by fear? Or are they going to be guided by love? Are they going to be guided by excitement? Like, whatever those steps are going to be. But the integration period is very important for that. Mm. It's a good question. Do you think that with the mental health blockages in men in particular, with this like feeling of needing to be in control or have it all together, do you think psychedelics could help men access and express deeper parts of themselves? Yes, I do, but there's two sides to that coin too because not everyone is in a place in their life where they're ready to be profoundly affected by psychedelics in a positive way. What does being a man mean to you in our current time? I think being is such a big question. So I, think <laughs> <laughs> I sent you the questions ahead of time and you chose to skim over <laughs> them. <laughs> I didn't tell you I wanted to be cut off guard. Um, I, to me, I think being a man represents being someone that people feel safe around, that you represent strengths, but not physically, like emotionally and mentally. And even say you're going through mental health issues, being a man to me represents someone you feel safe around. So being a good human is to me, man or woman, just having an inviting personality, being open to differing perspectives, not believing in the hierarchy of people based on race or uh, sexual preference or gender. I think, God, that's such a big question, yeah. you know, like, it, yeah, I guess just to put it in a nutshell, to be someone some people of all backgrounds feel comfortable around, mm -hmm. no matter what your size or stature mm -hmm. or anything. I think that's the best way I can answer that question. Yeah. There are no wrong answers. Yeah, I feel good about that. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I feel like I was like, that yeah. you did, Miss, <laughs> Miss Trunchable. <laughs> I don't know, I want to set an example for the future generations, not even just of my family, of just like what it is to be a solid human being. <laughs> like just like a just a decent flawed human being and it's okay. Like it's like it's fine. You know, like there's no omnipresent judge watching over everything you're doing. You're the one watching you all the time, you know? Yeah. I think that's sort of my mantra. Yeah. Yeah. Something along with Something those like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um something like that. Last question for you. Okay. Are you are you the man you want to be now? Are you living how you want to be living? Totally. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and that's not. <laughs> I'm perfect. <laughs> that's not to say that. Uh, I think I'm living in my purpose, and I'm definitely have a lot of growing to do, and I will continue to do it at the pace that I desire, mm. which is rapidly. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I, I do think that I'm slowly becoming the, the person that I want to see in this world, like outside of me. I think I'm becoming that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We should have five. Yeah, are you yeah ready for I'm it? ready okay. for it. <laughs> no, it's not actually not that bad. We should do it with that. Yeah, ones. what are we doing? Yeah, <laughs> ready? Woo! <laughs> yes! Oh, we got to get that in slow that motion good. too. Did we nail it? We nailed it. Oh, sick! Champagne time? <laughs> yeah. And, and rubber and duckies. Rubber duckies. <laughs> rubber duckies. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>